Hello, my name is David Meany, VP of Technical Sales and Marketing at ECS Inc. International. In this video, we will discuss the effects of temperature on quartz crystals and the effects of operating them outside of their specified temperature range. What are the effects of temperature on quartz crystals? To answer this question, we first need to understand the physical properties of quartz. Quartz is the second most abundant mineral in the Earth's continental crust. Its crystal structure is a continuous framework of silicon oxygen tetrahedra. The uniform structure makes it possible for it to be formed into specific geometries that allow it to resonate at very specific frequencies. Although quartz has a very low coefficient of thermal expansion, temperature change is the major cause of frequency drift. The change in frequency comes as the temperature variations change the value of the elastic constant and to a lesser degree, the dimensions of the resonator. The effects of drift can be charted as a sine wave plot. With some increase in temperature, the rate or frequency will increase, but after a certain point, the rate will then decrease. This is known as quartz turnover and is a standard quartz behavior. In this figure, the x-axis is temperature and the y-axis is the frequency change in parts per million. The colored curves show different achievable stabilities over temperature based on the angle cut of the quartz. What happens if you operate a quartz crystal outside of the manufacturer's specifications? Technically, the crystal will continue to resonate. However, the effects that temperature will have on your crystal will cause it to exhibit less stability than specified ratings. Let's look at these effects. In the figure below, we have the same crystal being tested over two different temperature ranges. The figure on the left shows the effects of quartz crystal when subjected to a temperature range of minus 20 to plus 70 degrees C. As you can see, it's fairly stable, but it's exhibiting some drift as it nears the minimum and maximum of its usable temperature range. The one on the right has been subjected to a temperature range of minus 40 to plus 85 degrees C. We see that the stability at the minimum and maximum temperature ranges has fallen off quite dramatically. If you're depending on this to be a critical system clock, you would probably see some significant degradation in system performance at the temperature extremes. While the effects of operating a quartz crystal outside of its specified operating temperature range is not typically an issue, we do not recommend it. The most notable reason is the greater frequency drift that is caused by the effects of wider temperature ranges. But more serious conditions may occur. Accelerated aging is a permanent change to the elastic constant in the quartz, which can impact stability as well as frequency accuracy. One of the more serious problems that can occur are activity dips. Activity dips can cause the crystal to stop oscillating completely. They can occur at specified temperatures and are typically repeatable faults. Manufacturers usually design around this problem but cannot guarantee it beyond the specified temperature range. To sum it all up, yes, you can operate a crystal outside of its specified temperature range, but it is not recommended. The best course of action is to specify a crystal based on your system requirements, know the needed temperature range ahead of time, match or exceed it. If you operate a crystal outside of the manufacturer's specs, several things can happen. Problems can be minor, but could eventually lead to a system failure. ECS Inc. has high quality components, and the engineering team is readily available to assist you with your design requirements. For more information, please visit us at ecsxtal.com. Thank you.